Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing more slow cooker dinner recipes. I do share a lot of these on my channel. They're just super quick and easy to dump in the slow cooker and at the end of a long day, open it up. Dinner is all served and ready to go. So if you wanna check out that crock pot playlist, definitely check it out down below. Make sure you're subscribed and let's go ahead and get into all of these dinner recipes. For this first crock pot dinner, we are going to be making some honey garlic chicken. This is a family favorite and one that we make all the time. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm just starting with my large slow cooker and spraying that with some oil. This is how I start all of my recipes. And then here I have six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. But you could definitely play around and use a different cut of chicken if that's what you want to do too. And then into a separate bowl, I'm just adding in all of my sauce ingredients. So this is a third cup of honey, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and then about a tablespoon of dried parsley. And then you can add some sesame seeds later on. And of course, I also added in a big scoop of minced garlic. Mix that all together, and then just gonna pour this right on top of the chicken. I always cook mine on high when I do chicken like this. And it usually will take like three to four hours, but it's going to depend on your crock pot. Just cook it until your chicken is fully cooked through. And this one is so delicious. We really like to eat this over or rice that's our favorite way to make it but or you can have it just plain if you want just like I did on this night but it's also really good over rice for this next dinner, I am making some bacon cheeseburger soup, and this one was so good. I cannot wait to make this again. It was totally something that I tried on a whim, but it turned out amazing. So I'm just starting off with a pound of some ground beef, and I chopped up an onion. Throw that in there. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper, as well as some garlic salt, and then I just browned all of this together. Now once my ground beef was fully cooked through, I'm just heading over to my slow cooker, spraying that with some oil, and then I'm just dumping the beef and the onions right in there, and then we're just gonna dump everything else in. So this is three russet potatoes that I peeled, and then I just chopped them all up into some nice small pieces. I would say like about half inch pieces here. And then I also dumped in about one and a quarter cup of some shredded carrot. I always use my grater for this. And then for seasonings, I did a teaspoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of parsley, salt and pepper to taste I would do about half a teaspoon each of those a big scoop of garlic which I always keep in my freezer and then I think I did like three to four cups of broth it's really just gonna depend on how thick you want your soup I did four cups but it's just as personal preference and then I cooked this on high for I think it was about three to four hours just until your potatoes are fully cooked through about a half an hour before I wanted to eat, I threw in half a block of cream cheese. I did kind of cube this up just to help it mix in a little bit better. And then I'm also adding in one cup of milk. I think I used whole milk or 2% on this night if I remember right. Mix that in until the cream cheese was all nice and melted. And then I did go ahead and add some salt in here just to make sure it was nice and flavorful. And I also dumped in probably like a cup and a half to two cups of some shredded cheddar cheese. If you can use fresh grated, it's so much better. Let all of this simmer together on low for like another 30 minutes and then just right before serving I also dumped in some bacon bits and oh my goodness you guys this was one of my favorite soups I have ever made so delicious and full of flavor for this next dinner, we are making some slow cooker Korean beef, and this one was really delicious. My sister gave me this recipe, and we really enjoyed it. So I'm just spraying my crock pot and starting off with my roast. This is actually a neck roast, but I would recommend a chuck roast if you have it. You're gonna want about a three pound roast. Go ahead and throw that in there. Set that aside, and then we're gonna mix up the sauce. So for the sauce, you're gonna want about half a cup of some soy sauce, half a cup of brown sugar. You're gonna want one tablespoon of garlic, and then I used about a quarter teaspoon of some grated up ginger or you can use fresh if you want to a teaspoon of onion powder a tablespoon of sesame oil a tablespoon of rice vinegar and then sriracha to taste I used about a teaspoon I will have this full recipe linked down below as with all the recipes I always have them in my description box but I just mix this up and then I poured it right over the roast I did make sure to stir the roast so it would coat like all the different sides during the cooking and then I just threw this in my crock pot on low for about eight hours once it was all done I just shredded it up I threw it back in there for probably like 10 minutes just to really absorb all the flavors but this one was really delicious served over rice my husband especially enjoyed it 
This next dinner is actually going to be a meatless meal, which I don't share a lot on my channel because my husband loves beef, but he was not here on this night, so we made some crock pot taco quinoa. Again, start with spraying your crock pot, and then you're gonna dump in one can of enchilada sauce. Mine was actually frozen. And then I'm also dumping in a can of corn and a can of black beans that were drained and rinsed off. And then you're gonna want to do two cans of petite diced tomatoes. You can also do the Rotel tomatoes if you want to. I threw in some garlic along with two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I do always make mine homemade just because I love the flavor of it and it doesn't have all of the extra additives. And then I just threw this in the crock pot for I think it was like two and a half hours, two and a half, three hours on high. Once that was done cooking, it was looking like this and I just added in a cup of quinoa dump it right in there and it will cook in all of those extra juices. I would say I cooked this for probably like 20 minutes or so and the quinoa came out absolutely perfect. You'll know that it's done when the quinoa is all like puffed up. I will say you could probably also add meat to this meal but you may want to sub in a little bit of extra broth to make up for it but this one was really delicious. Just top it with some cheese, serve it with a salad, super quick and easy dinner. For this next dinner, we are making crock pot potatoes and sausage. This was a great way to use up some potatoes at the end of a grocery week. So I'm just spraying my crock pot with some oil and then I'm dumping in all of my veggies. So here is just one russet potato. You can add more potatoes if you want to, but this was a really large russet potato. And then I also added in about half of an onion that I had chopped up. And then here is about a pound of some venison sausage. Use whatever sausage you want to. And then I just did like half a cup of some chicken stock you could also use beef here and then I just seasoned this heavily with paprika chili powder garlic powder onion powder parsley and of course salt and pepper I would say just go with like about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of all of those just totally depending on your preferences but I just really seasoned this up super well and then I cooked it on high for about two and a half to three hours is what it took in my crock pot again it's gonna just depend on your crock pot but I would say plan for like three-ish hours and it should be perfect good to go I did top it with some shredded cheddar cheese again if you can use fresh it's so much better but this one was actually really good all of those seasonings had so much flavor and it actually paired really well with the venison sausage All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's crock pot recipes. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to check out the playlist in my description box. Hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.